Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another video on my channel. Yesterday I didn't post anything, I had the birthday. I, I know, I know, I could make some, you know, chess party. However, I had the different plans. Uh, but today I would like to uh, show you the game because yesterday I played the game against... Gata Kamski. For those you don't know who is Gata Kamski, Gata in 1996 played against Anatoly Karpov for the world champion title. Uh, and on, on his way in the candidates tournament, for example, uh, he eliminated Vishwanathan Anand. So definitely he knows something about chess. And Look what beautiful uh, times we have, we live in, where, you know, the, the grandmasters, super grandmasters like Gata Kamski stream and everybody has a chance to play against him. So I also tried and, uh, and yeah, here we go. Gata Kamski plays as white and I'm gonna play as black. We have e4 by Gata Kamski. I play e6, so French defense. I go for the French defense. And somebody in chat actually posted uh, to, to something about bonk load. And Gata Kamski asked, uh, what is bonk load? King on e2? And he made that move. And I said, why me? Why me? Because uh, normally he play normal chess. Okay, you, you never see Gata playing bon Claude and, uh, and, and he usually played the solid openings and he has a huge knowledge and I was pretty prepared. I watched 20 of his games before, uh, before I started to, to challenge him uh, and, I, and I thought, okay, I'm ready. I can, I can play this, uh, these openings. He also widely comment what moves he's doing and why. Uh, so this was pretty impressive. Uh, but yeah. He played king on e2, so now I'm ob obliged to, to attack. So what happened next? I played d5, knight on c3. Uh, not the greatest move, however, that's what he played. And now the best move recommended by the engine would be d takes on e4. But uh, d4 is the second recommendation and I prefer to uh, have a little bit closer position. Knight on b1, I have c5. And now king on e1, knight on c6, uh, and now f4. So I'm getting the space on the, um, on the queen side, and Gata wants to get also some space on the king side. Uh, I go after his, his pawn, he defended, and now e5. This is the, this is the strongest move in the position, uh, and Gata plays for f5. So he wants to block the position to just improve uh, his pieces. And of course, uh, I understand this, this plan, and I play g6, but this also prepares another move. Uh, and Gata immediately, immediately, I just make this move, and he comment in his stream, it's interesting if Mordimer knows knight on h5 follow uh, with the queen on h4 and that would be beautiful classical tactic. Uh, of course, that was my idea to play that, but but that was, you know, my morale just just dropped. Whatever I play, he already comment and uh, tells my intentions what I'm gonna play. Uh, also, just to mention uh, my... My heart rate was, I don't know, maybe 200. I, I was really like not used to play against Grandmasters. 20 years ago I play sometimes uh, and I was used to and, and it was fun. But now I play one of the best, you know, players on the planet. And it's like, uh, it's like I was very, very exciting. So I try to also make a good moves, you know, to give some challenge and also to have some fun. Uh, and now we have knight on f3. So he gives the gives the pawn for some development. We have g takes on f5, e takes on f5, bishop on f5, and now queen on e2. So Gata puts the queen on uh, on the same file with the king. And here, what I should play, it's what I usually play. But you know, Gata Kamski play against you, bon Claude. Uh, what I should play is queen on c7, and let's say after knight on b2, because uh, e4 is coming, of course, then castle. And once my king is happy in c8, or maybe even on b8, then I can try to attack. I can attack the center. Look at this. This is, you know, a lot of support for the, for the pawn. Also, the rooks can join. Uh, this is just beautiful position. However, I go...
immediately for e4 so that's my first inaccuracy but of course it's still winning we have d takes on e4 knight takes on e4 uh, and now g4 deflecting my bishop of course i go to g6 and now bishop on g2 however what to play next uh, knight b on d2 is uh, move recommended by the engine uh, just you know you attack the the knight and then after queen on e7 knight e4 let's say queen on e4 uh, and I would just probably exchange all the pieces, uh, win the pawn uh, on c2, and then with this, d3. This would be just beautiful. Look at this position. Everybody would love to, you know, play this against every everyone, not only against Grandmaster, if you have something, some position like that. Two extra pawns, and uh, what can go wrong, yeah? However, uh, we have bishop on g2 by Gatakamski, and his idea uh, was to castle. However, after bishop on e7, of course, uh, Gatakamski was surprised that he cannot castle and then, okay, I make the bunk load. I move my king already. So this is not fun. He said, this is not fun. He played knight b on d2. So already uh, threatening the, the taking the knight. And what to play now? What to play now? Uh, actually, we played three minutes game. This is a three minutes game and I already spent two minutes and Gata also uh, spent almost two minutes. So uh, my plan was, of course, to move the queen to, to h4 uh, and bishop on e7 was the idea, of course, to, to get out of this pin. However, I didn't even think what to play next. Uh, knight on d2 was the good move in the position, knight on d6 was even better, but the best move was knight on f6. This is what I should play in this position, knight on f6. The idea is of course uh, attacking this pawn and also the pawn on c2. Uh, and after h3, for example, bishop on c2. Uh, it's not the best move in the position, but it's, it's, it's quite solid. You know, uh, d3 is coming, uh, the queen can move, I can castle. So this is pretty good. Probably king on f2, queen c7, and the game could continue. Uh, and it's also, also really great position. However, for some reason, uh, I play bishop on h4. This this is something about my, my heart rate probably, but I play bishop on h4 and I thought I have something here and I forgot about this pin. We have king on f1 by Gatakamski and now what to play next? Uh, queen on e7, there is the problem. Knight h4, okay? And now I cannot take the knight because I'm defending also the, the knight, okay? Uh, and it's it's attacked twice, so I cannot do that. Even I play knight on d2, it doesn't work because after bishop on d2, I still cannot take the knight, okay? So I'm, I, all I could do, it takes on c2 and try to play this this way uh, without the minor piece and, uh, and yeah, but with this quite active uh, pawn, so maybe, maybe, but unlikely. I play f5, which funny thing, but it's recommended by the engine, so I played the best move. G takes on f5, bishop takes on f5, and of course knight on e4, uh, winning the minor piece. And here, of course, I lost the minor piece, but I started to play uh, really the best moves recommended by the engine. So, uh, castle or d3, oh, but, but it doesn't matter because these are the same move, just in different order. I play d3, uh, we have c takes on d3 and now castle. So the idea is to put the rook on this, uh, on this open file. We have king on g1 immediately by Gatakamski and now bishop on g4. So I pin the knight. Uh, and I attack the knight, and I also want to join with the with the knight to attack. So the plan is to to win back the material. However, we have bishop on e3, knight on e5. Luckily, I have knight on e5, rook on f1, defending. Uh, and here, it's difficult to make the exchanges on f3 if you know that you cannot you cannot you know win the material, and you cannot bring another rook to attack. Okay, if the queen is, for example, here, I could bring another rook to the attack, and everything would be uh, much better. However, uh, here I thought, okay, let's play knight on d3, and at least I can support the knight, and maybe I can find some. Uh, I don't know, some tactic. However, I have only 20 seconds uh, and Gatakamski have 25 seconds on the clock. Uh, so 
okay, I, I go for the pawn, uh, but there is not really great moves here. The, the, the engine just recommends exchange everything and stay, you know, being the, the piece down. Uh, we have h3, a bishop on h5, and here, uh, what Gatakamski should play, believe me or not, but he just blunder now, uh, he should just, you know, move from the pin. Queen on c2, attacking the knight, and also this bishop would be under attack, and my queen cannot defend both. So what I would have to do is bishop on f3, rook on f3, rook on f3, bishop f3, and move the knight. This is what I could do. Uh, maybe strengthen the position of the pawns here, uh, but after rook on h2, uh, it's, you know, whites consolidate the position and I don't have any attack, any, anything, it's it's just pointless to to continue. So that would be pretty passive position. However, Gata Kamski, believe me or not, played knight on h4 and he actually blundered the queen. The problem is now I have less than 20 seconds and it didn't even cross my mind that, you know, super grandmaster can blunder the queen. What the heck is going on? Uh, of course, the queen cannot defend both, but I could take the queen and I and I didn't spot that. Okay, bishop on e2. So he would probably be forced to, to exchange the rooks and after queen on f8, uh, I have the queen for two pieces uh, and I also have the pawn. So, of course, it's still very, very complicated because, you know, pair of bishop, pair of knights. Uh, and my queen, it's not easy. Probably what I would try to do is bring the rook to e8, exchange for one of these pieces. If the if the knight, then the bishop have to take it, then the queen can come to f1. Uh, this is what I just, just spotted immediately. However, what I said, I, I didn't even spot it that I can take the queen, okay? That's, uh, that's quite a shame. Uh, but okay, I, I took the knight immediately. That was, you know, not, not maybe not pre-move, but okay, just automatic move. And here Gata just uh, exchanged the rooks. So he tries to simplify the position, queen on d3. Uh, and now I could deliver the check, but it's just doesn't work because king h2 and I don't have anything more. So I play bishop on g6, pinning the knight, uh, and now we have king on h2. Uh, anyway, and of course the rook is entering the game. Uh, and here, if I try rook on e8, okay, this is lo looks like a pretty pretty logical move. The problem is queen on d5, and after king on h8, I'm I'm in the corner, so uh, the bishop could just come this way, or even it was possible to play bishop on d4, and after c takes on d4, queen d4. And after king on g8, I don't have much chances because knight on f6 discovered attack on the queen and of course I'm down the, uh, a lot of material, actually the, the, the queen and the, and the knight. So uh, this is doesn't work, rook on e7, I try rook f7 uh, to try this way, we have rook on f1, but it doesn't work, work as well, rook on e7, simply queen d5 with check, king h8 and here uh, Gata could actually deliver a checkmate but he missed that uh, and he could play rook on f8 uh, and just checkmate this way or, or with the queen doesn't matter uh, but he played bishop on g5 so uh, also very very good move uh, I play uh, queen on h5 and after bishop on f6 I don't have much choice now as you see all of the squares are sliced rook g7 queen d8 and in this position I got flagged uh, so I don't have my, my time finish we didn't have any incrementation and Gatakamski still have 10 seconds on his clock what I could do actually is only play bishop on e8 but after bishop on g7 uh, of course this is also a checkmate so uh, this was the game and what I can tell you, I was quite happy that uh, I could reach that position and uh, and now it's very difficult, you know, to move your pieces back. But this is also Gata said uh, in, in one of his games, he give a lot of tips to players like uh, sometimes you have to go back to just continue your attack. And so that was obvious move. That was just obvious move. Uh, 
so this is what I should play. But for some reason, bishop on h4. Uh, and I'm also happy about another move, d3. Because after d3, Gata said this move against me. So so I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm so proud. And this is one of the best moves here. And, uh, and it's quite deep, but uh, I actually was inspired by Magnus Carlsen. Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen that game, uh, ju just check the last game. I promoted the link is over there. D3. So I saw, okay, this move can be, can be pretty powerful. Uh, and look at this. This also, everything is pinned here. So the queen really cannot take uh, if the, and, and then bishop can take also here. The knight can jump. jump. <coughs> so I was pretty happy, especially with the rook after castle uh i saw all of that but that was not enough that was not enough but but it was fun heard rate 200 uh, and gata said after i told gata thank you for the game and about uh, about my, my feelings and he said hey it's just the game just drink a tea and enjoy and yeah he didn't know that you know I'm, I'm drinking a tea so if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and of course uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. And that's my tea, Gata. That's my tea. But... <laughs>